Hello everyone and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We are here in Meridian and we have the freedom to go exploring and that's what we're going to do now. There's so many different things around here. Oh, let's take a look at the map. Ooh. Whoa! Look at all the merchants. Vessel collectibles. Hunting goods, mystery boxes, machine resources, flower collectibles, artifact collectibles, eclectic collectibles. Wow, that's cool. Okay then. There's a little village down here that's outside. That's like outside, outside. We have to go all the way back and come down this road here. It looks like there's some farmland here. Huh. Alright, that's cool. This must be that tower. Okay. I wonder if that's the palace of the king. Palace of the king is somewhere. Actually, the king probably lives in the tower? The spire? Oh, I don't know. I guess it's no use guessing. There are some quests. Uh, available quests, looks like. That guy right there. But first I want to look at some merchants. Who's this guy? Hey. Okay, so he sells... He sells weapons. And outfits. It's just all the same stuff, you know. They, they don't have anything new. Although this one is... Uh, I can buy that one. Hmm. Fire protection. Hmm. I can't buy that one. Yeah. Yeah, they're all the same ones. Okay. So, are there any that don't sell weapons? All right. What did you want to discuss? Wait. You're an outlander, which is good. Who's this? But a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe? No. Although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels? Emblazoned with symbols of the old ones? Mm -hmm. They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. Okay. Yes. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. <laughs> but I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been... Breathtaking. <laughs> but which vessel was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? <laughs> drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous. Okay. Trade. Yes, yes. Trade quickly. I have work to do. Oh, reward boxes. Map of... Oh, yes. Okay. I only need one more ancient vessel before I can buy one. Two more to get that one, and I don't have any of those. Oh. These are uh, available to buy right now. I should probably do this buy all of the maps so that I can get all of the stuff. 
Yes, indeed. Okay. Thank you. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. Rugged? Well-traveled? Okay. Yes. I would like to talk to you. No, you already talked to me. Okay. Did that reveal any more that weren't here before? I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to how many there were before. Huh. I might have actually, actually already bought all those. I mean, I bought all the ones that were available in uh, the Nora lands. So, uh, I know there's a merchant this way. Wait, are there any more merchants over here? No. Let's go check out this one over here. This place smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. Is that some kind of spice? Hopefully it smells good. Hello. Oh. So this guy sells scavenger boxes. Aw. Is this worth buying? Are these worth buying? Because some of the stuff I need for other things. Shard gambler's box. Well, these just cost shards, and that one's really cheap. I'll just get that one. Mysterious books. Stranded necklaces. Hmm. Some of these are a lot more expensive. Okay, thanks. Um, sh let's just check and see what it is. Shard gambler's box. I actually probably have quite a few. Oh, I still have that rock. I need to drop that rock so I don't have to always be skipping it. <laughs> hmm. Oh, nice. I could put that on my um my uh, armor. Shard Gambler's Box. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's why they call it a gambler's box. I I, I earned five shards. <laughs> Fine goods for a fair price. Like Alright, now I actually wanted to add the because it was freeze that I put on these. Yes, yes. So I got another one. Get it there. Got another freeze one. And I will put it on there. There. Now, 29% resist freeze. And of course, I will replace those with greater ones as I come across them. So. Where's it leading me, actually? What? Where is it? Oh my gosh, where's it leading me? Find Olin. Right. Um. Let's see. Um. Let's not do that yet. Um. Where was the one to help Erend? Um. What would it be under? Side quests? There aren't any current ones. Oh, here, meet errand. Red Ridge Pass. That's a lot closer. Or is it? No, it's actually farther away. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to do this first. Just because. I don't know. He might help me later. I. I don't know. Maybe not, but you never know. So I need to go this way to get to the other merchants. I don't think I actually need to buy any machine resources though. But um is this Ol Olin's house? Yeah, I already went this way. I go this way. Won't cost you a shard, just no, we bought. We bought stuff in him already. The more prices will go up. 
Well, let's just explore. See what's, see what's around here. Lots of gates. Okay, that's a dead end. Why is there blood? I've got all the best goods here. Huh. Come, take a look. We should probably... Wow. This is a machine parts dealer, isn't it? Could you spare a moment to speak of the finer things? Okay. What did you want to talk about? You were an outlander, no? An adventurer. Mm -hmm. I used to be one myself. So I you admit, took an arrow in the knee? I miss the beguiling colors <laughs> of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. Yeah. It's made of metal, like a machine. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. Okay. Yeah, I do. These metal flowers, what are they exactly? No one knows. But some say they began sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. Perhaps hmm. they grow from the tears of the sun, for he has many faces, does he not? Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next, Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. Hm. Okay. But I do have some, so... Ah. Let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. Oh. Okay. Ten metal flowers? Whoa. There better be something really, really awesome inside these boxes. They each cost 10 metal flowers. I have half of them. I only have five of this type. None of the Mark IIs and three Mark Threes. Hmm. Yeah, oh. I already have, I already got all those. Yeah? I already bought all those and I have all of the metal flowers on Till we meet again, my noble Nora. Let's have a chat. No. I, I already have the locations, see? <laughs> There's all the locations here. So I mean, are there more? I suppose after I collect all these, I can still like maybe go look go buy more. I don't know. Huh. I wanna come down here and and come over here and do these things and there's another yeah wow gotta go way up here into these places too and get stuff plus there's all the ones back over in Nora territory that I didn't do because I didn't come even way up here and I also didn't come like oh, way over here so um okay well let's go check out what one of these quests are Oh wait, here's another merchant. Genuine craftsmanship. You can't beat it. Oh. Hi. Oh. Oh. Wow. I can buy um, resources. Striderland, Water Grazer, Scrap, Shellwalker, Broadhead. They're kind of expensive, but they're not unreasonable. Oh. Hello. Hello. What was it that I needed? Oh, I can't remember. I needed, um... Where's the armor sale person? How's that wrestling armor yours? I needed to buy something. I can't remember what it was now. Some sort of lens or <laughs> part of some sort still. I was still in need of. Well, there's a quest over there, but I'm gonna go up here. Would you like to buy wow. something today? What is all of this? Is this an arena? 
or a funeral. It's neither. <laughs> There's a quest in here, though. These people all look like they're, um... The Sun Faith. Seven Articles of the Sun Faith. Okay. Over all the world rises and sets the great sun as it plain as is plainly seen to all plants animals machines and men it gives life as is plainly seen of all the tribes none have scaled such heights as the karja as guided by the sun witnessing these things to be true each day celebrating these things each day we believe in the sun and its light gladly and without question only the sun's rightful heir, born of the radiant line that dates back to Aramon, the founder, is the speaker for the sun. To him the sun's desires are revealed, and from his lips its desires are acted upon by men. He shall be known as the sun king, and his word shall be law. In all things we accept the sun's judgment. We offer our bared skin to it, so it might burn our sins away. Oh, wow. <laughs> We partake of its renewal, we wear its heat for a time, as our skin bears its flesh, its bronzed armor, we are made strong. In the creaking, in the cracking and peeling away of our old cells, we are made new. In the sun's light, we shall speak only in truth, we shall strike only in righteousness, and we shall act as we believe the sun so tasks us. When the shadow falls across us, we shall always remember our illumination. We shall not cast blame for ill fortune. We shall endure. In the coldness of the moon, we accept there will be stillness and death and endings until dawn comes once more. We do this because there are two halves of nature, sun and shadow, and to deny one is to deny the whole of things. As a twilight time came before us, ending the world of the ancients, so shall a twilight time come again, for this is the cycle of things. The buried shadow shall rise up to eclipse the sun's light and usher in great and terrible change. Even knowing this, we are steadfast in our belief and trust that the sun will again bring a new dawn, as it did for our founders so long ago. Holy Meridian shall forever be the seat of the Karja, the city of the sun, and the spire venerated as the mark of its founding. A sun king born of the radiant line shall always sit upon its throne, for without a speaker for the sun... Its will is clouded, for either of these to be denied is to invite a twilight time upon us. Clearly the Karja are the children of the sun, and preeminent in its gaze. But so too does its light touch upon the barbarian tribes of the north, east, and south. It is the speaker for the sun's duty to interpret it, to interpret if the sun's gaze is directed in approval or reproach. So determined is the duty of the Karja to carry out the sun's will, even in places where the light does not reach. Okay, so this is like a temple then, I'm assuming it's a temple of some sort. Well, let's go over here and see what this guy wants, looks like a priest. Is that a Nora? No, doesn't really look Nora. Hello? You're Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Hmm. Well. I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander, then I would owe you very much indeed. Okay. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. So what? Rituals? Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. Okay, what obstacles? Uh, what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram, who seeks to visit the shrine of kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. 
A shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb. A call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Flinthawks perched there, drawn to the spire's shining. So, clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Okay. Why? I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the Red Raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. <laughs> she doesn't like tradition and... Um, religion ceremony. You're disappointed with the sun priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried in the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Hmm. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. Okay. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. Okay, so I gotta go clear some machines out of an area and get a priest to follow me. Oh, is that a campfire? Yes, way down somewhere. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll do that sometime. I, I suppose I could look on my map to see where they are. And then, actually, I have to look in my quest to see where they are. Side quests, Honor the Fallen. Okay, that's the one I have to bring back to the city. The other one is... Oh, okay. That's where that metal flower was I couldn't find. And that big cliff I was hoping I wouldn't have to climb. Where glint hawks were. I have to go kill those glint hawks. There's the light. Okay, that's what it is. It's a shrine. I have to go kill some snack moss. Well, I suppose I could do that on my way out to my next locations. <coughs> I'm not gonna go make a special trip though. I'm really not. Although it looks like I can get to it coming this way. Well, I'm glad I didn't come this way to get into the city. That wouldn't have been as cool as coming all this way. I think. Probably wouldn't have been as cool. <laughs> okay. There's a couple more quests over here and one over here. Let's uh, just undo that one. So, let's go. Let's go faster. What is this? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, they worship the sun, I, I'm guessing. Nothing here. 
I wonder why this place is boarded up. Hmm. Okay. Well, the other quests are around here. Oh, here's one right here. Bodied adventurers, preferably with no We're friends or family, but I'm not choosy. <laughs> Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgun. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shot. Enough to buy eye? garb more becoming of your. Okay, stop there if you want me to hear you out. <laughs> I, I only meant uh, a well molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I. Uh, I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Those Banuke are canny. Too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. Okay. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> The last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. Hey, you're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. Mm. They say the Banuke there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it? Girl, I'm not made of straw. Okay. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live <laughs> up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Huh. Are you a merchant? Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right. More of an opportunist. Uh, girl. Uh, Nora, girl. <clears throat> Huntress. <laughs> we live in a world of opportunities. Risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. Okay. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> it's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. <laughs> if it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment <laughs> on return. Okay, a moment's peace. Well, let's just check and see where that's at. Uh, side quests, yes. Uh... Oh, it's back in Nora area, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that anytime soon. <laughs> For sure. Uh, yeah, no. I need to take that off, okay. <sighs> okay. Um, is there a guy in here? Quest marker inside here? Nice Whoa. You need to win three what? half sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. You mean these? Very well then. Oh, this is the Congratulations lodge. and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're <laughs> only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk. 
Yes. But a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time. And I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs. Present yourself to the Sunhawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? <laughs> You'll see. Okay. Wow. So, this is the Hunter's Lodge, huh? What is this? Is this one of those, oh, those big ones? Yeah, I think it is. Huh, that's cool. So go upstairs. There's the, uh, the quest, but I suppose we should go upstairs and introduce us, introduce to the Sunhawk. Which is where? What is this? What? Record of Red Maw One. Oh my! <laughs> By inquiring, Jininiman, Jininiman, historian and residence of the Hunter's Lodge. Do I want to read this? Oh, it's long. It's really long. I don't want to read this right now. Oh my goodness. No, I sure don't. <laughs> wow. What a view. Huh. Okay. Where is this guy? Actually, can I not go in there? Okay, um, I must have come up the wrong stairs. Maybe. There's another thing. Another What's this? Legendary hunts. Yeah, it's probably just another long thing that I don't want to read right now. Excuse me. I want to find... Oh, we took the wrong stairs, probably. Huh. I didn't know Outlanders knew how to dress properly. Ha! <laughs> he actually complimented me on my clothes. I guess, sort of. So is this him? No. These are just all artisans. I think they were supposed to be hunters. Isn't this a hunter's lodge? Why are they all artisans? <sighs> Let's look at the quest. Um... Hunting grounds? No. Um, we need... Well... No. Oh, here we go. Hunting lodge. Find a sponsor. Where is it? Down here? Up here. Okay. Uh, so I didn't see anyone up there that I could talk to besides these artisans. This guy. No? Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the Savage Lands. The Sacred Land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, 
do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing, right now. Stinking up our lodge, hey. pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan <laughs> said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. Okay. Talk to Talana. Which is somewhere. Uh, this is Talana. Wow. What a get up. Okay, hello. Here, Talana? SC said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay, I've dealt with worse. Hmm. I'll bet you have. What? But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. What? What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Cuts through trees, rocks, people. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. Okay. Assis, what's his story? He's the Sunhawk of the Lodge. The highest ranking asshole. Sorry, <laughs> member. He's taken down Ravagers, Stalkers, Behemoths. So? I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two Stormbirds. But he's a hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Whichever hawk defeats the greatest machine first becomes a Sunhawk. Okay. How does one become a hawk? When a hawk dies? His thrush is promoted in his place, no matter how anyone feels about it. Oh. Okay. Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the lodge in other ways. Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all the best kills and drink the bar dry. Hmm. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far, it's been all talk. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to assist the Sunhawk, then no one can deny you brought it down. Okay. Do I want to get started right now? I guess. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, he'll sponsor me. I'll consider it. Just to make Assis boil. Oh, well, that shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, that shouldn't be too hard. It's actually gonna show me where they are on the map. I have to go to specific ones. Oh, I can't just collect anyone that I come across I have to go to specific ones well that's gonna be a little bit more difficult I guess hmm all right or it's just taking me to their um, like it's taking me to a stalker location that's probably what it is doing three sawtooth hearts see yeah it's showing me two different sawtooth locations and two different ravager locations okay all right well next time i come across one i definitely will do it but not today um, i can't deactivate it i now it's going to be in my 
gonna be in my quest journal forever. <laughs> As active, I mean. Probably wants me to go do them. Or is it in an errands? Oh, there it is. Yes, I was clicking on the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. It's kind of loud with music. Oh, right. So, that was a hunter's lodge. Oh, wait. We forgot to see what this person wanted. Oh, there's another thing. Bylaws of the Lodge. Well, let's look at that. Oh my gosh. <coughs> That's long. Um, okay. Bylaws of the Lodge. Let's see. The hunt is the noblest pursuit in the Sundom. Save those of the Sun King and his Sun Priests. The hunt is strength. The hunt is honor. The hunt protects. The hunt preserves. What is the hunt but competition? What is com competition without rank, honor, and victor? The lodge lends law and lore to the hunt, so all will know who has prevailed. Thus, the lodge is not just its members and not just its house in Meridian. It is the spirit of the hunt, a code to be honored, an idea, an ideal to be lived. Only those of the noblest blood can embody the noblest ideas, ideals. As such, only Karja males of pure blood may honor the lodge and tread in its house. That must be an old rule, then. <laughs> By order of his radiance, Avad, 14th Sun King of the Karja, Bylaw 5 of Section 1 is hereby rescinded. <laughs> oh, yes. No hunter shall gain admittance to the lodge without three half-sons, one with honor at any hunting grounds. There are two classes of member, Hawk being senior, Thrush being junior. The rank of Thrush can only be gained through the sponsorship of a Hawk. Each Hawk may sponsor only one Thrush. There can only be seven Hawks. A Thrush can only become a Hawk through the death of his sponsor. That seems like it would promote murder. <laughs> the Hawk who hunts the greatest prey shall become Sun Hawk and lead the Lodge. In the event the quality of prey is in dispute, the Hawk who hunted first shall remain first as Sun Hawk. Only Karja males of pure blood may become Thrush, Hawk, or Sun Hawk. By order of his radiance of Odd, 14th Sun King of the Karja, Bylaw 7 of Section 2 is hereby rescinded. Proof of the hunt. The greatest hunts offer often bear no witness. Therefore, a trophy must be kept. A trophy may be submitted to the Sun Hawk as proof of a victorious hunt. A trophy must be intact, undamaged, and from a recent hunt. The Sun Hawk shall have final authority in any dispute over a trophy's worth. Only Karja males appeal blah 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 to protect and preserve. A hunt for its own sake is noble. A hunt in the service of others is blessed by the sun. When called upon, hawks and thrushes must undertake any reasonable hunt asked of them if it serves to protect the citizens of the Sundom. The sun hawk has sole authority to negotiate any fees or bounties associated with any hunt undertaken by members of the lodge on behalf of the Sundom. Any profit from any hunt undertaken by members of the lodge on behalf of the Sundom shall be shared by all seven hawks administered by the sun hawk. Only cars and males of pure blood. And yeah. <clears throat> For the purpose of training and recruiting the best and greatest hunters, the lodge shall provide and maintain hunting grounds. Each hunting grounds shall test a different range of skills through three trials crafted by his keeper in consultation. The Sunhawk, there shall be three rewards for each trial in ascending order of performance. Half sun, full sun, blazing sun. Hunters who prove themselves by winning the, the requisite number of suns may be entitled to special gear at the lodge at the discretion of the Sunhawk. The Lodge shall provide funds for the construction and maintenance of all trials and facilities of the hunting grounds. The Lodge shall receive them. Okay, I don't want to read all this. It's too much. And let's talk to her. Edaba. By the sun! King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. Hmm. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. Okay, marks. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not gonna take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Oh. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. <laughs> if you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. 
I can give you up to three weapons, one for 15 half suns, one for 15 full suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. Whoa, that's a lot of suns. Okay, so are you a member? Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Osaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. Okay. What edict? King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. Mm-hmm. Okay. Give you my marks. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a Hunter's Lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. <laughs> oh my. Okay, that's gonna be hard. Well, alright, well, we are ready to go out and do something. <laughs> um... What is this quest marking? What is this? What is this? That's great. Great get rate run hunting ground. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. That's the one where I was, right? The first one I came to when I came over the border, right? Hmm. No, I don't want to do that right now though um no i want to actually um oh uh, let's see i guess i will go find errand i will go meet errand on over here and on my way, I might stop and help that guy get back. And I'll do this vantage. And I might pop over here and get this ancient vessel. I might pop over here and get this one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It might not be as easy as that to just pop over there. I don't know what kind of terrain this is going to be. It looks kind of rocky. It looks like there's going to be lots of uh, canyons and things like that. Yeah, I could maybe come over here and get those Ravager trophies. Well, whatever. I'm going to do stuff along the way. Oh, there's a hunting's lodge up here, too, so... Hmm. Hmm. Well, I do have a plan. I just need to figure out how to get out of this city now. 